Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and today we have a follow-up service call to repair a drain issue. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Today we have a follow-up service call to repair a drain issue in this what they call the pump room. So if we look here this right here is a backflow preventer. This is the air gap and this is the drain for it. The other day, the engineer sent me a video. Let me see if I can get it to show you guys where water was actually backflowing up and pouring water everywhere. Originally, I thought that maybe something inside here actually broke and it was dumping water or the system was overpressurized. That's what this is for, is a discharge, it's a vent. So, it, to my surprise, the water was coming up this way and I'm like, man, what is that? So this should go straight down to the drain. We follow that line right there. This is that drain line. I know it's huge mass, huge mass, huge mass. Goes this way. Let me get around here so I can show you what happened little hard to get through so this is that drain this is that same drain line I don't like how it goes down and then comes back up and into here so let's decipher this for a second I realize what is going on here so we have this drain line this is connected to actually a water source package air conditioning unit so what happened was there was so much pressure being dumped through here because it's a open loop it's not a closed loop so when water goes through the condenser to cool it it just dumps straight down into the drain but there happened to be so much pressure that because they tied this in that they teed this off with this drain water was draining but it made its way back up and was flooding everywhere so we didn't know where that water was coming from but then i thought about it i'm like damn it must be that new unit that was installed and sure enough, when I shut down the unit and the water, the water stopped. Right now, that machine is off and the water is off so we can work on this. So, got the materials and we're gonna do what we do. So the idea is to get rid of this T, cut out this T right here and make a straight line. So this line goes straight down into the drain. And then from here, obviously remove the T again, remove that out of there and run that line directly to the drain to separate them so now we're going to turn on the ac and it's dumping water which really isn't efficient because they're losing a lot of water they want to do something about that to put it in a closed loop where it gets recycled through like a cooling tower which they have like that once they're separated the water shouldn't back feed and they will both go down the drain this drain is coming through there going down coming through t off here so from here, we're gonna run a drain line going down. Let's try to get through here so I can show you guys the route. Comes down, right? Goes through, it's coming this way. And it goes down into this disgusting pit that could totally use some maintenance, my Lord. So we're gonna run it into the pit. I really dislike how this drain goes down comes up and then loops around i mean that doesn't seem right i got a new piece of pipe there what i'm thinking is to have this pipe bring a little higher and have it angle down and above that pipe and honestly that would just be a better draining setup let me see if i can make that happen okay so first things first man they got everything around here Let's separate this stuff a little we need to get rid of this T. So I'm gonna cut here and cut here, put a piece of pipe with two no-stop couplings. Let me see, can I lift this up a little? I could, I got this tool. See if this thing could work. Come on, will it cut? Oh, 
Oh man, that's beautiful. So that thing cut right there. Let's do another one here. Oh man, what a lifesaver. Come on. Oh yeah. This thing is nice. So this right here, separated, all right? Could even chop this up, get it out of our way. This right here is one inch copper. Man, this saves your hands. Bought this off my friend Frankie, man. Thank you, sir. Okay, beautiful. So now we gotta connect this straight pipe and that's gonna solve the backflow issue. But now we just gotta get this line to go straight to the drain. Let's fit this up. We're gonna sand down both these edges, deburr each end of the pipe, put a piece of pipe with two couplings. All right, I'm just gonna take some sandpaper and sand down the edges on both sides. Both pipes are now sanded down and we're gonna deburr the inside and outside of the pipes with this deburring tool. All right. Now we're gonna cut a piece of pipe that will fit in that area. Oh man, what a beautiful thing. All right, next we're gonna take some sandpaper, sand down the edges for both and the burr both sides just like the other one. I got one inch couplings with the stop so when you put it in, it stops right in the middle. There's other ones with no stop where you can slide around the pipe when you don't have slack but I got some slack on these pipes. I'm gonna fit that through, fit that through, and fit that through. And this area is now separated. Just gotta press it with my tool. That thing is amazing. Gonna make sure these are all the way in. Now let's press it. Okay, one. Make sure it's centered right. Two. As far as this. to lift this one a bit. Chris, do me a favor, lift this pipe up a little, you see it? Yeah. Yeah, right there. Okay. Done. That right there is a beautiful thing. So now this line is separate and we just gotta get this line separate. Now we can turn that AC back on. Instead of just continuing it here, we have to go, it goes down, up, and then back down. I'm gonna see if I could take off from here. Yeah, that's a bit of a pitch. So this thing can drain with gravity. We're gonna take off from there and change the setup a little bit. I mean, it don't look the best, but considering everything that's here, it's probably the best and that look, that's probably the nicest thing out here. Put a marking there. So it could be kind of close to the wall. Maybe we can strap it as well, give it some support. And I think that's gonna be the route to go. Let's get our tool on there and make sure we're gonna cut in the right spot. Right there. Right, 
sand it down and deburr. Put that there and I'm gonna actually dry fit this whole setup and then press my fittings. Okay, our pipe is here. I got this new one. Let's see how we can do it. I would like to get it under there, but then it would come back up because this is in the way. You might just have to go over and then pitch again down. It goes right into the pit. Let me dry fit this. All right, we made it here. Let me just press this. So, got nothing in my way. I'll position it after where it needs to be. That's done. Little angle to go down. Okay. Bring that over there. This is gonna go straight down into there. Let's move forward. Chris, let me get the light. Okay. Set this up. Everything's already sanded and prepped. Let's make sure, see this curves down again. Make sure that's straight coming down. Like this, yeah. just like that, okay? okay. Hold it there, make sure it don't twist, okay? Because I'm gonna move this a little bit. Let me get this set up right. Got it? Okay, make sure that's all the way in, press that, awesome, I got a coupling here to connect it because I needed some extra length, let's press that, and one more here. One last connection over there. All right, let's finish this one up here. Push towards me. Yep. It's all the way in, all right, yep. stop. One there, hold it down. Okay. Push it towards me a little, right there. Make sure that's all the way in. Let's press it. Pipe is done. All right, let go. And we can adjust this. Could even bring it a little higher. Give it that better pitch. As far as here, we got support on its pipe, but I don't want to do that. I want to give this thing some support. It has support sitting on those pipes, but if I raise this up a little bit, actually, and give it more of a pitch. So, let's see, I got a connector there. Let's try to mark a hole. Oh, battery needs charging. All right, oh, hammer. All right. Put in the anchor. Let's put on our Phillips tip. Raise this up with my leg. Get that started by hand. Beautiful. That's a beautiful thing right there. One more form of support. All right. Get that through. Beautiful. All right, guys, so that thing comes down, comes this way. Gave it a little support there. 
makes its way down pitched got a bit of support there let me walk around I haven't cleaned up and kneaded up some of this stuff comes down got some extra support there goes down let me walk through so you guys can see I'm going the hard way I have to cut my shirt so now that line is separate from this line put a little tie wrap there let that go follow the clean pipe made its way through tie wrapped it comes down with all these other drain pipes put a tie wrap there put a tie wrap there it's gonna go straight down just the way they have it it is what it is i mean look at this <laughs> but that's pretty nice i don't like how it just like kind of sticks out over there but i'm glad it has a nice pitch so it's gonna drain so now when that line drain it's not going to back feed and start shooting out of here so we solved that issue now we could turn that air conditioning unit back on it is a water source heat pump all right i had christian go turn the unit back on it's connected to that line right there you have no leaks there's no water shooting back up here they're on separate lines so it's not back feeding You'll see a rush of water and that's coming from that unit. This is that drain pipe. And I was just dumping water there. So that's that unit. And we solved the issue. Oh man, it was tricky just to figure out where that water was coming from. But once I figured it out, this is a pretty simple repair. Definitely very much needed. But we got no water. And that right there is a beautiful thing. We're gonna wrap this one up here. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.